What's up guys, Express is on here and I'm back with another video. Now this time, this is something completely different but it's been asked by a lot of people. The camera raw or filter video. So I'm just gonna explain what I do with the camera raw filter. Camera raw filter is mainly for raw pictures that you take in the, the raw so you can easily change the colors. But you can still change colors from your banners, headers, whatever you make. And I'm gonna show you what I do and also I have some uh, quite a surprise at the end of the video. So, I recently made this banner with the collab. You can check that out on my Twitter. Um, and you can see if I remove that, the banner is really bland. And if I put back all my presets, then it's it's 10 times better, you know. Uh, the stars are still added, but you mean you get the point. The colors are popping out way more. So, uh, what I do, mostly do is merge all the layers you have. So, you just want to do that merge all the layers that you have together in one final layer. Then so Ctrl J it and then Ctrl E it. So you've duplicated all your layers and then merged everything together. What I also do then is just select your header with the select tool, right click and layer via cut. So anything that is around your header is just gone and removed and you can't see it anymore. So what you want to do then is go to your copy and go to filter, camera roll, filter. The first thing I always do in the basic settings, you go to basic and I always pop up the contrast. So that's it <laughs> no um i click on this little icon and then you can see two different versions of your work you see the before and after camera raw i press it again and then uh, if it's a header i like to do it so it's so you can see more of the banner but if you see what i do with the contrast it pops out everything a bit more just around 20 percent. that's the basics thing i do and then the exposure is if you have like a dark style banner, I like to put up the exposure a bit, but if you already have a bright banner, just don't touch that. Then just leave it at normal because if you overexpose it, then it's disgusting and doesn't look nice. So if you have a dark banner, maybe touch the exposure, but if you have already a bright enough banner, just don't touch that. Also, you can convert to a smart object. So, and go back to filter, camera roll, filter. You can still do that. You don't have to rasterize your layers. Um, so the blacks I always put down so the darker bits are more black and I'll, I think that's always ha if you do it too much then it doesn't look nice as well. Maybe minus 36 if you, and I think that always looks better. Then with the clarity if you can see uh, it just blurs it and then sharpness it just gives it a more sharpness feeling that I'll, I always put on as well. Then the texture don't, don't put anything that's also like a um, sharp make effect but you can do that see if you see the difference this is more like a sharp feeling the curves um, are basically the same again if you put the highlights up then the whites are being overexposed and then the shadows are the darker bits as well and I do just to if you want to just do basic sh banners then I put the highlights a bit up and the shadows a bit down always have a nice look to it then you have the details if you have a lot of noise in your photos or like in your work you put that a bit up so like okay that is that then we go to color mixer color mixer is just if you want to have a different color or different color in your banner so if you have a blue you can change that to like a uh, darker blue you can see darker blue uh, if you have like a light blue you can change that as well like the hue and saturation is to change literally the color you see that you can change the blue hair to purple and then you can change the purple to a red yeah it's um you can change just uh, the color overall look as well. You can change it back and change the red. You see, this just changes the color. The hue just changes the color. And if you if you want to do that, um, I'm not sure. Then you have the saturation. It's just how bright that color is. If you put red all the way up, you can see the reds are popping out. If you want to pop the orange more, it just pops it. If and then if you don't want any blues, like if you don't want the blues to pop in the banner, just remove the blue see difference at all and the luminosity is like you can change the, the color to a more blackish color or to a more white if you get the feeling okay that is the um, color mixer so once you've done that go to color grading that's i don't really touch that but you can do that if you want to have like an overall other color feeling if you see if you go it goes overall uh, red feeling overall blue feeling green you can change that a bit then I skip geometry and effects and go straight to calibration. If you go to shadows, you can change the shadows to another color, but now in this banner, you don't really have any greens or purple-ish 
shadows so they don't change but if you go to red primary you can see already if you go all the way left the reds are changing to a purple okay that is that and then you have the same with the green if you change the greens and then saturation as well okay then you have the blues as well change it and then pop out the saturation the color then the color just goes uh, darker and whiter okay that is basically me explaining uh, what i do or what i change if your layer is still a smart object of you uh, made it a smart object you can still edit it and i think that's a real benefit in my opinion so if you go to this little option and uh, right click this little uh, icon thing at the right side and edit smart filter so if you um, see you can still edit it and it's still has the, all the settings that you've just done and you can still uh, edit that uh, on your banner so if you like don't know enough of camera raw i have I made some couple of presets they're basic presets for your for your banners uh, I'll, you can use them on photos as well but they're just for your banners um they're just express one two three and five i made it i made five they're, they're really basic guys so uh, they're, they're free as well if you want like uh, more difficult ones and like to change a lot uh, i would probably make them and ask money for it because they're just these ones are free and you can see already they're not that not that difficult to make yourself but they're just a nice couple of presets that i think would look nice on a couple of banners like the first one already looks 10 times better and then the second one has um, also looks better and then the third one doesn't really fit on this banner but you know you can still do it and then the fourth one i'm not so sure but the fifth one is also like we're overexposed so just look uh, if you make a banner and just look through my uh, express presets and you think Oh, that looks 10 times better and I don't want to like do the whole shabam <laughs> edit yourself just use my presets they're free they're in the link and down in the description put in my presets in your Photoshop go to camera Raw, filter again click on these three little uh, click on presets Click on these uh, three little dots more preset options and import um, here they go uh, it's now a zip file uh, it's now a WinRAR file but if you don't have WinRAR it just will look like a zip file so you'll click on that and open I already have uh, imported but they will import and they will say um, express presets or express filters and then you can check out my presets that were for free so and then there also will be an extra one uh, there will be the filter that I just did on that on this specific banner that you can use as well so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you use my presets I hope you learned something from the camera raw filter and try to use it in your own work uh, they will pop out your banners, headers, um, whatever. They will pop it out way more. The colors will be way better. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. The next video.